Hey everyone, welcome to the DevOps course. I'm Saba and I'm really glad you're here. If you're new to tech, trying to break into the industry or just wondering what the heck DevOps actually is, you're in the right place. In this first session, we're going to lay the groundwork. No tools yet, no code, just understanding. What is DevOps and why does it matter so much in today's world? Let's dive in. Okay, let's start with the big question. Why does DevOps even exist? Picture this, developers write code, throw it over the wall to the ops team and walk away. Ops then have to run it in production, usually under pressure and things break, a lot. That wall between dev and ops, that's the old way of doing things and it just does not cut it anymore. DevOps came about as a better way, a smarter way. It breaks down the wall and gets everyone, dev, ops, QA and even security working together from day one. So what exactly is DevOps? At its core, it's a culture, a mindset, and a set of practices that brings development and operations teams together. It's about collaboration, automation, and feedback. Instead of dev and ops being separate, we all together create a continuous workflow that builds, tests, and ships code faster and more reliably. It's not one tool, it's not one role, it's how modern teams deliver better software without all the drama. To really understand the why behind DevOps, let's rewind a bit. Traditionally, devs and ops worked in silos. Devs were all about features, speed, shipping new stuff. Ops, they wanted stability, uptime and control. Totally different priorities, right? So when things broke, and they did a lot, the blame game started. DevOps flips that dynamic. It says, let's work as one team with shared goals. Everyone owns the success of the product, from planning to production. Now let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture, the DevOps life cycle. What you're seeing here is a loop, not a straight line, and that's very important. DevOps is all about continuous improvement, not just build it once and forget it. Each stage fits into the next and then loops right back around to planning. Let's walk through it together. Plan is where teams define what they're building and why. Code is where the actual coding happens. In the build stage, code gets compiled, packaged or containerized, depending on the tech stack. In test stage, automated tests run to catch bugs early. In release stage, the product is prepped and approved for launch. Deploy stage is where the product is shipped to staging or production environments. In operate stage, the app is running and ops teams keep it stable. In monitor stage, the team collects real-time feedback, logging and metrics in order to detect issues and improve the next cycle. And then it loops back to plan, with all that inside feeding the next iteration. This loop allows teams to move fast, learn quickly, and deliver value continuously. And the cool part? Most of this can be automated, with pipelines, scripts and monitoring tools doing the heavy lifting. So yeah, it's not just a diagram, it's the heartbeat of DevOps. What makes all of this possible? Let's talk about the core concepts that power DevOps. First, there's CICD, continuous integration, continuous delivery. It means merging code often, testing automatically and deploying with confidence. Next, we've got automation, a big subject. Why do something manually 10 times when a script can do it for you every time? Then there's feedback loops. You want to know as soon as possible if something breaks so we can fix it fast. And finally, collaboration, arguably the most important one. DevOps only works if people communicate, share and take ownership together. To make all this easier to remember, there is a popular DevOps framework called CALMS. It stands for Culture Automation Lean Measurement Sharing. It's where we share responsibility, we have open communication, we automate as much as possible, we try to be efficient by removing the waste, we track our metrics and performance, and most importantly, we share tools and ideas with our team. If a team embraces CALMS, they're usually headed in the right direction with DevOps. Now let's talk about tools. Not too deep yet, but just to give you a sense of the landscape. You've probably heard of Git, version control, the backbone of everything. Then there's GitLab or GitHub Actions. These help you automate your pipelines. We will discuss them later. Docker helps you package, containerize your apps, and Kubernetes helps you orchestrate and run them at the scale. For infrastructure, tools like Ansible and Terraform manage your servers and cloud resources. And for visibility, Prometheus and Grafana give you the metrics and dashboards to keep things healthy. Don't worry if that sounds like a lot, we'll break them down later in the course. So what's the payoff? Why are companies investing in DevOps? It's quite simple, it works. Features get delivered faster, outages happen less often, teams communicate better and customers are happier. And from the business angle, that means better results, faster feedback and stronger products. It's not just a technical shift, it's a mindset that changes how teams work and win. And that wraps up our introduction to DevOps. Now you understand the what and the why, and in the next video we're jumping into Linux. If you found this video helpful, hit like, subscribe and keep going, we're just getting started. Welcome to DevOps, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.